All right guys, so a lot of you are on this journey with me as first timers. Um, so there's a lot that we're both learning about bikini competitions and everything along the way. So I wanted to do a fun video with you guys and give you some information or like weird facts about bikini competitions. Just weird things that nobody really knows about until you dig deeper. A lot of this stuff I didn't know until after I had signed up for the competition. Not that it would change my mind, but some of it's kind of weird. So here we go. With the competition, it's pretty much all about the tan. All of the weird stuff kind of revolves around the tan. And if you've seen any pictures of competitors, um, you'll notice you'll notice that they're all super, super dark. The cat's rubbing on the stand here. Everything revolves around that tan and keeping it perfect for the show. For the first part about the tan, you have to shave everything. So not just all the normal parts, but you're going to have to shave your arms, um, you have to shave your chest, you have to shave your tummy, shave your butt. So you're literally shaving everything on your body. If you don't, when you are on stage, you're going to be able to see all those fine baby hairs and sometimes the, the tanning, um, I don't know, I guess you'd call it spray chemicals. They'll uh, concentrate around the hair follicle and you'll get these little really dark dots if that can show up. So super important, you have to shave everything. The next weird thing about the tan is that your body has to have a certain pH to agree with the tan. So it's usually recommended that you use a pH balancing scrub a couple weeks uh, prior to the show. So the reason why you are getting your pH right on your skin is because if you don't, your tan will turn green. So not pretty to be on stage and be green. If the pH of your skin isn't just right, your skin can actually turn green, you'll look green on stage. Which leads me to another thing about the tan and being green. So the day before your tan, you're gonna take your shower in the morning. After your shower, you cannot put any kind of anything on, so no lotion, no deodorant that's the biggest thing if you wear deodorant your armpits will turn green crazy right so you're going to be not wearing deodorant for probably about 48 hours you can't wear it the day of your spray tan you can't wear it the day of your show or you will turn green so rumor has it everybody smells really really bad but that's okay if everybody stinks then that's all right you also can't use like anything on your hands because there's a possibility that your tan will turn green and your hands will be green as well. So really gross because you can't clean your hands. Another weird fact about the tan, the competition tan, is that you cannot get it wet. So you can't wash your hands um, if you are like brushing your teeth, you have to be really careful not to drip anything on you. You can't get wet, so no water at all. If it's raining, you have to stay covered, you have to stay dry, or your tan will run and you'll get white spots. Which leads me to another super weird thing, probably the weirdest thing that I've learned about, show, about the competition so far. So ladies, when you're going to the bathroom, sometimes, it splashes. Well, you can't have this ruin your competition tan. So rumor has it, you have to figure out a way how to go pee and not splash everywhere and ruin your tan and then everyone can see that you peed all over yourself. So what you're supposed to do is get some kind of cup or a bottle and cut the bottom off or poke a hole in the bottom and you have to pee through a cup into the toilet and make sure you don't splash anything. Or you can get one of those go girl things where I guess you can pee through that. I don't know. So that's probably the weirdest thing. You cannot pee normally. And you probably shouldn't sit down anyways because the tan on your butt will get onto the toilet seat and ruin that and the hotel will not be very happy with that. Next strange fact is that at most shows, the company that's doing your spray tan will also be doing two other special things for you. So they'll be oiling you up to give you that like nice shiny glow. The other thing that they do for you is they actually glue your suit bottoms to your butt. So you have a stranger gluing your suit bottoms to your butt. 
but that's okay because they've already seen you naked when they did your spray tan. So they are gluing the outsides of the bottom of your suit to your butt cheeks so you don't get a big old wedgie when you walk out and your suit doesn't move. It helps make your glutes look nice and symmetrical as well. And you're not gonna be picking your butt when you're on stage. So those are just a few unusual things that a lot of people don't know about show day. I hope you liked this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.